guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm actually filming a get to know me Q&A. Um, I asked my followers to ask me any questions that they would like to know and I'm answering these in this video today. If you don't already follow me on Instagram please do so then you don't miss out on these kind of Q&A videos and I'm also going to be filming a boy talk soon so I'll be asking the questions over on there. So I don't know if you've noticed I've had my hair extensions taken out. My mum actually took my weave out for me. I think it was like last week to be fair because I pre-filmed the last couple of videos because I've been so busy with uni work, like literally hectic. So I knew that I just needed to get videos pre-filmed. But yeah, my hair has just been out for like a week or two now. And my hair does actually feel really soft. And I think it's a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Obviously it's a lot shorter than my extensions, but I'm hoping that keeping them out for a bit will just make my hair thicker. I'm not really planning on having them in now until like clubs open. I just don't really see the point. I know you all love the long hair, but sorry guys. <laughs> Okay, let's get on with the video. First question I'm going to be answering today is where do you want to be in five years? I love these kind of questions um, just because it makes you actually think. I actually will be 26 in five years time, which is literally crazy. Um, 26? I don't really know. Like I know what I want to do for the next few years. Like I do have like a rough idea, but I do like to go with the flow. Next couple of years, I really want to go traveling, and I really want to move to Manchester for a bit. Like I just love the city, and I think with everything that I do, like Manchester is like the best place to be. To be honest, obviously I want to rent in Manchester for a bit, but then I want to actually buy a property. Probably when I'm like yeah, 24, hopefully, and then 26. I know this wasn't the question. Like sorry, this wasn't the question. I've been rambling, but 26. I'd like to say I'm in a long-term relationship. I'm enjoying being single right now and like, I can't wait to go out hot girl summer and all. But I think maybe in like a year I do want to like maybe settle down. So yeah, I'm hoping by 26, I don't know, just in a long-term relationship. I don't really think that I'll be having kids at 26 to be honest. Like it's not really what I would like see my future looking like. I definitely want kids, but probably not till like 29 30. I do feel like people either want to be a young mom or like an older mom. For me personally, I just want to like achieve my career goals, be where I want to be, be with the right person. But yeah, I definitely like will be living on my own in a house. Probably have a little dog, a little French bulldog, hopefully. But yeah, who knows? We have no idea what the future holds. <laughs> okay, the next question I'm going to be answering is what do you do at uni? So if you didn't know, I actually go to university here in my third year. Thank God. I have actually loved it, but I think, cause I've been at home for COVID, like it has been quite intense. Like it doesn't really feel like uni. Like uni isn't just for the work, like it is for the experience as well. Like I feel so bad for people that are there like first or second year. Like at least I'm kind of like in this period of time when it's my final year, I'm meant to be concentrating anyway. I have been, I've been getting the workload done, thank God. But uh, basically I study specialist hair and media makeup at university. I actually love my course. I do think this area is a bit where definitely could be improved and to be honest with you I feel like if I was to pick again I might have gone to a different university like somewhere that is like specialised in fashion makeup if I could now but however like I do know quite a variety of areas right now there is different routes like certain universities do like specialist paths to each like SFX kind of makeup fashion like runway kind of makeup and I do feel like I am definitely more interested in the fashion side of makeup um, I love doing that kind of e-commerce style makeup. So yes, I actually have a makeup Instagram. I do post, but definitely not regularly, like, because I work part-time around university. I just don't really have time. I can't wait to be getting back to it. Like, I do really enjoy it. And my dream is to work with fashion companies for like websites, magazines, that kind of sector, makeup artists for London Fashion Week, that kind of stuff. And I also really, really enjoy theatre makeup. I definitely think I'll be going down that avenue as well. So fingers crossed if everything goes to place. So my next question is biggest turn ons and biggest turn offs. That's two questions, but I'll just answer them both from the same one. Obviously a good personality. Obviously everyone says that, but it is actually true. I really like someone that is like funny, can keep up with me. Like I'm not saying that I'm really hilarious. I'm just saying that, I don't know, boring chat, no, I can't be bothered. Um, very aspiring, like they have high aspirations in life. And um, they're very confident. Arrogance and confidence are completely different. Like they have to be very confident in what they do. Um, dream big, that kind of stuff. 
and yeah I always say like as long as they like, are very motivated like I love a motivated person like I feel like I'm quite motivated myself um I don't like negativity like within a person like if I can see if someone's quiet they bring that kind of energy like it's just not for me like I want someone that's gonna hype me up make me want to like be more positive like they can keep up as well but I've got quite a fast lifestyle I've always been the same like since I was younger I've always had quite a fast paced lifestyle and I just think someone that respects that I just think that means like you are wanting to achieve quite a lot like you continuing to push yourself that kind of stuff um but yeah and then turn off I'd probably say as well like clinginess is like kind of how I said about needing space and stuff like you can tell really when like you're gonna get on with someone or not and I do really really think like for me like laziness is a massive thing I suppose it kind of goes on with like the whole being a positive person and stuff like not negativity like that kind of stuff um but laziness just so it just shows that you're not really bothered that much about life like you're kind of just sailing through it the next question I have is how did you get into influencing so I'm assuming she means on Instagram because that is literally my only platform that I would say I have that the biggest following are on board. It's definitely not big. Before anyone says I'm not an influencer, I'm not trying to pretend I am because people come for things like this. Like, but I've actually recently hit 15K on Instagram and for me, that's quite a big achievement. I've got another question that says, how did you grow on Instagram? So it's basically the same thing. I'll give you a little backstory of how I did grow. I actually had this Instagram account for ages. Like I was really, really young. I was just posting basic pictures of me and my friends, pictures of me like at events, like festivals or family dues, like literally anything I was just posting pictures of, like what people used to use it for back in the day. Um, to be honest with you, I was never really massively into Instagram. I was always obsessed with YouTube, but Instagram for me was to kind of like share photos, like memories, that kind of thing. Um, I was nothing, it wasn't anything to do with fashion or anything like that because when I was younger, I was not good at fashion, <laughs> let's just say that. Um, but then, yeah, I just kind of built a following quite quick on Instagram, to be honest with you. And then I was at college, I built it up a bit. And then basically, me and my friend, we were in her garden and we had a mirror outside that we, I think she took it from inside, yeah, and put it outside, which literally everyone's doing now and we did it years ago. But we just literally took a picture um, in the mirror. And yeah, basically it got put on the explore page. It was literally so random. And we had loads of random accounts following us. We literally thought we'd been hacked. I remember being like, what is happening? And we were literally going through and, and like removing the account, which is crazy now. The time I didn't understand Instagram, like I wasn't involved at all. And then, like I say, it literally helped me grow loads. Like I think it made pushed up my Instagram account for like three, 4,000 followers. Like it was crazy. All I know is that that literally built my account up so much. When I went to university, I actually hit 10K. And my best friend at uni, when I first met her, she was really into taking pictures of herself, like someone else taking them. Does that make sense? So when we used to go out, at the time I literally just took mirror pictures of pictures or selfie pictures. And then I used to get her to take pictures of me like before nights out, things like that, or just fashion pictures. And I do think that really helped build my Instagram up. I would say that's how I grew. That's literally all that happened. So at the time I definitely didn't really engage with people. I wasn't really on it regularly. And then the past two, no, the past year I'd say I've really put effort in. I've really thought about my content. I've really like planned my feed. I think about actually doing a video about this because I could literally mention so much. Like there's so many different things into Instagram that I could give advice on. But the main thing for me that I would tell people to do all the time is stay consistent. I post every other day and to be honest with you, if I could, I'd post every day, but I literally can't. I haven't got the time because I'm actually working and I have uni. I also take my, my pictures like all in like a day, um, usually like once a week or once every other week to be honest. But that's kind of what I do. Like I take a lot of outfits in one day. I engage with so many people now. Like I'm always commenting, I'm always on my phone. Like I'm always on Instagram. Like if you're really interested in it, you will put the time into it and that is kind of what I would say will make you grow kind of thing but I'm not an expert I've definitely not got the biggest following but that's my advice on that one the question I've actually got is it's quite a cheeky one it's how many figures is in your bank account so <laughs> I actually saw this one earlier I didn't see a lot of them I didn't really go on my phone this afternoon because it's been very sunny and I was taking content today but um <laughs> when I saw this one I was like do I answer it do I not um, I actually have two accounts, I'm pretty sure everyone does at this age. 
but I have a savings account and my regular account. In my regular account, I literally keep no money. Like, I say, like, no money. Like, next to nothing anywhere. I think at the moment I've got like 20 quid. Like, no joke. Uh, but it has been people's birthdays and stuff, like my family members. So, that's probably why as well. But I just try my hardest not to keep money in there because I will just spend it, like, on unnecessary things. And obviously, there's nothing to do at the moment. We can't go out. I'm lucky because of Instagram as well. Like, I do get certain brands gifting me outfits. Like, I do actually love shopping, so I do spend a lot of money. But I don't know, like I've just been saving like literally everything I possibly can at the moment because I think I'm really blessed to have a job right now. Like I know it's really lucky to have it given the circumstances. I don't know, like I think, yeah, like I say, I've got like 20 quid in my main account. Can I say that? <laughs> can I just say that? Um, okay, I'm just gonna say it because I feel like what it is, it could be like really low or quite high. So you wouldn't know, do you know what I mean? So I actually have four figures in my savings account right now, which is not as much as I'd like to have, but I did actually recently buy my, my own car. Um, I bought a little A1 last summer in August. Um, so yeah, that took quite a lot of my savings, but yeah, I'm still really lucky. I feel like I'm saving like really, really well. But yeah, that's a little hint into my savings account. Okay, so the next question is, which is your favorite season? My favourite season, above all of them, is summer. Foods is not summer. If we say winter, I don't know. If we, I don't even know if we can be friends at this point because summer is literally the highlight of my life. That like I can't wait for it to be hot so I can read books in the garden, go for long walks with my friends, have little picnics, have drinks in beer gardens, wear cute summer dresses. Everything looks better. Like I feel like I look better in myself. Like my skin's glowing. I don't know, I'm just, I just can't wait. I can't wait to get my tan. I'm actually really too excited. Like, I can't wait to book a holiday as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know how it cannot be summer. Like summer is literally amazing. Um, I do actually love winter fashion, but not actually winter itself, if that makes sense. But shopping sites, I think she means clothing sites, I'm guessing anyway. So I would actually say Zara and ASOS right now, but it always changes, to be honest. Like, I go through stages of loving Pretty Little Thing. Oh, oh Polly, night out. Oh Polly is on there. And I love Bow and Tea for gym wear. Gymshark, Gymshark's probably top tier gym wear. Um, clothing brands though, yeah, ASOS and Zara. This two piece contour collection, Zara. And I can't wait to shop on ASOS in the summer as well because they have gorgeous pieces. Okay, so the next question I have is youngest and oldest I'll date. So probably say the youngest I would date is my age, 20 what? I don't know actually, <laughs> will I actually date a 21 year old? I don't know, like I've spoke to 21 year old, would I actually be in a relationship with one? Is the question. Probably not, to be honest. I just feel like, not. I'm not putting them all in the category here, but majority of 21 year olds are very immature at the moment, but Maybe 21, maybe 22, I don't know. It just depends, but old is our day. I always said like 25, it's like nothing too much older than me, but the last person I was like seriously speaking to, we were like on and off for like a while. I think he's seven years older than me. Because I've just recently turned 21, I'm literally losing track of time. Yeah, he is seven years older than me. He looked about 24 and like acted like 22, so I mean, um, so yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I think it completely depends on the person. Probably like 28. I probably won't go over than 28 to be honest. Um, seven years older than me now. Cause I don't know. I feel like you have to be careful because people kind of want like different things when it's too much older. I'm not sure. Like I'm just, I wouldn't close anything off, but it just depends on the person. Favorite food. Um, this really depends. I love Nando's. I love Chinese food, like satay chicken or salt and chili chicken dry with satay sauce and salt and chili chips that is a go-to i love indian and i love pizza but my go-to like food i cook at home is probably either like lasagna or i actually love everything like chicken and rice chicken and crushed potatoes pasta i'm literally i couldn't eat one food for the rest of my life i don't think because oh i love mexican as well oh my god I do these like amazing enchilada things. So I don't know anything. That's what I'm going to answer is favorite city for a night out. This has to be Manchester. Manchester, 
I've not even been places I want to go in Manchester, but I've been in Manchester and I literally love it so much. Like, I love the city. Um, I love Birmingham as well. I can't say I don't because I lived there for a bit. And I do love the clubs and the atmosphere in Birmingham. But I think you just get a bit fed up. Like, do you know what I mean? So I would say Manchester out of the places I've been. But I do really, really want to go to Newcastle. It's meant to be amazing. And Liverpool. And I'm going to London for my friend's birthday weekend. So that should be amazing too. But yeah, let me know if you've got any recommendations in the comments below for good weekends for nights out. And that's everything for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see any more chatty videos from me, let me know. I am going to be filming though, a boy talk. Like, I really want to film that soon. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!